Yeah, this is Mike Anderson with Anderson's Pretty Water Farm. And uh, uh, I just want to have a, a little, make a little video about uh, my latest little project is uh, the uh, Langstrip Horizontal Hive uh, with my uh, bees. And uh, last year, a little history, my, uh, my wife's uh, niece, uh, Pam, and her husband, Richard, uh, several years ago built them a Langstroth horizontal hive and they seemed to like it a lot and so uh, I thought that uh, uh, last year I built two uh, top bar hives horizontal top bar hives and I really liked those um, that seemed to uh, uh, the bees didn't seem to be as uh, aggravating or anything they just seemed a little happier than in my regular Langstrip hives and so uh, I thought this year uh, I would uh, uh, try using uh, the horizontal Langstrip and uh, do a little experiment and see uh, see how they do in that because uh, on the top bar hives I uh, have to uh, uh, you know tear out the comb and and smash it all up or whatever to uh, process it to where in the Langstroth so I can throw it in my my spinner and uh, and spin it out that way so it'd be a lot easier to to harvest that honey and uh, so I uh, I built about two of them uh, and they're both exactly alike except I got different roofs material on the roofs on one of them I put a uh, so I had a bunch of old uh, galvanized flashing and I thought uh, this might be a good project to use some of it. And uh, then the, uh, I, uh, I thought, well, uh, on one of my top bars, I got uh, asphalt shingles and I really like those. They're real durable and they'll last a long time. So I thought, well, on one of them, I'll use it. Well, I didn't have enough three tab shingles. so. And the supply house I went to didn't have no three tabs, so I ended up buying a, a roll of roll roofing. And I used that, and that seems like it's gonna do okay, so. Uh, but uh, mostly what I uh, based it on, and I went through Facebook and our uh, YouTube and all that, and it's a mixture between Dr. Leo and uh, some other, uh, I don't remember what the other one was, but uh, anyway, it's uh, they're just basic uh, uh, construction. I have uh, I use four by four legs, and I just cut uh, the top two inches off and recessed them in a little bit. And uh, I like using that two by nice thick uh, two by, and uh, so that gives them a good solid, wide, uh, insulated uh, bodies. So. Uh, that's what I used on both of them was two by and then on the tops I used it one by just for lightness and uh, so I'll, I'll show you the uh, the uh, hives and uh, and uh, explain to you what all I've done to it as we're going through it Okay, now, now here on this one here, uh, this is the one that I put the rolled roofing on, and I just put three uh, little sections of rolled roofing to give it that, that roll down uh, appearance and uh, uh, makes it look a, a little prettier. And uh, on this, uh, I decided to put uh, drawers in this one and uh, 
I just use regular construction. Uh, it's probably close to three quarter inch ply there with the solid wood uh, drawer front. And uh, I put this on here just as a watershed from this to keep that water from going in here around this drawer and just deteriorating it and stuff. So since it's going to be outside, and that's plywood in there, that drawer. So I thought that might be a uh, in, improve it and keep it from getting all that weathered. And uh, here's my uh, four by four legs, and you can see my uh, two by twelve. I think is what I used. And uh, open this up, and. Uh, in here, I've got uh, my three-quarter tops in here. Let me move this down. I'll show you what I got down here. This would be where I start. I got my little divider board here. That'll stop everything and then I got me a vent board now I don't put you know, I've seen on some of them they put all kinds of vents on there but I don't uh, I don't think they need that kind of vent so I just put uh, one little one inch hole here and then I put one one inch hole up in the in the roof up there and I think that'll be just enough flow and everything will be fine if if I see it's getting too hot or something, you can always go back and put another hole in there. And uh, so uh, and then I put a screen bottom. I put a screen bottom down in here for where uh, for varroa mites and whatever else. And so, slides in there real good like that and uh, then my frames just sit in there like that and I made sure that I gave my my clearance there so uh, I had no problem there and then I gave plenty of clearance here so my door would drop and in case I want to put insulation or something in here I know in the winter time it really gets uh, uh, cold, and I've uh, I just don't want to lose them due to the cold. So I, I take all my precautions. That's why I don't put a huge amount of vents in there because uh, I have I've lost hives due to cold, but I ha I don't think I've ever lost any due to heat. So uh, I concern myself more about the cold than I do the heat, and. Uh, so uh, that's what I did on that. And on this one here, the, I also put a bottom, solid bottom, under these drawers. If you look, I put a solid bottom on there. And that, uh, that down there. And uh, screwed it in. I don't know if uh, I need it or not since I got these drawers going in there. But uh, there again, I concern myself more about the cold. And on my top bars that I built uh, and I put into place last year, um, I had more trouble with them being too cold. So uh, I, uh, I put dot bottom doors on them with uh, um, screen bottoms on them and then a door flap that and that goes up on it but I had cracks around where that door hooked on and uh, I was getting a lot of airflow through there a lot of ventilation so I ended up taping around those and everything to prevent those that much uh, f air filtration for the winter and so uh, I thought this year I thought eh, when I build these I'm gonna build it with a solid bottom so I don't get a whole lot of air filtration during the winter. I want to prevent that. And uh, so we'll see how it works out. And I got three holes in the front. You can see on this one here, I got my 
deals there. I've got the three little holes in the front with landings. Now, uh, when I when I first start it, I'll close off a couple of them and then close this one down just a little to when the high first starts and then just let it build up and as they build up, I'll open up for one. And uh, now, uh, if you notice, I put uh, I put the uh, the door to where it goes back like that so I can service it from back here and the B front's in the front so everything's going in the front and I'm not messing with my bees so uh, and uh, so I can work work with them on the back and I was, I'm gonna have to get me some of them frame feeders because I didn't build me anything like uh, I did on my top bars to feed them with a little bottle or anything. I thought I would just get me a couple of frame feeders and I've, I've never uh, used those before but I figured I would do it with that first and if I like them I'd leave, you know, I'd, I'll feed them that way. If not, I'll build me some little uh, apparatus like I did my top bars to where I can set a, a bottle of uh, sugar water on a quart bottle and uh, feed them that way but uh, that uh, I'm really excited about this I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to get them out there and get some get some bees in them and and see how well they grow and how well they how well they like it I'm here on the uh, pretty water farm you know we want all our creatures happy so uh, we try to uh, do our best to uh, provide for them the way they'd like to be provided for. Now this one here, it's all exactly the same. I haven't put a handle on this one yet, but I need to do that. And uh, so I'm back here in the back, and I got my drawers back here, and. Uh, same thing here. I've done exactly the same thing. I, I, I got to put some kind of. I'll put a little screw in that where I can just pick these up, kind of like these drawer handles. I'll just screw a little screw into that. And make that way, if they're not cemented in by the bees, I can uh, pull them little rascals up. I don't have no fingernails for that. But same thing here. I uh, I got my drawers out there and make right in and out. And I thought, uh, you know, I use uh, if you look on uh, one of my YouTube videos, I I made a video on building a uh, oxalic acid uh, heat gun, and uh, it works real well. And so I figured that uh, I could. Uh, when I spray them, I'd have I'd have this white board down there to to see how well the the mites come off there, and uh, I thought about putting some earth or something down in there, some uh, in uh, to that way them little uh, varroa mites and stuff would would get some of that on them and kill them, and uh, so anyway. And I put a little hole with a vent. Same thing here. I got a vent in the in the attic space there. And here's my dividing board. You know, it's real nice and snug in there, so it's a uh, it's, it's built real tight, and I like that. That way, I don't have no trouble with air unless I want it. And uh, so that's, uh, I put a little chain on here and I may end up putting another chain. I noticed right here it's got a gap right there, so that's not good. I may not have a strong enough chain, but I rarely get into them. So uh, if uh, I just happen to have that, I think that's uh, for a lamp or something. So uh, I... Uh, I'm, I can sure find me some stronger chain if I look hard enough. But uh, anyway, we're excited about them. We're uh, 
my uh, niece, she seemed uh, very happy with theirs. And so we're, we're ready to get these things out here. This is uh, January the 13th. So uh, perhaps in uh, April or sometime, I'll catch me a swarm or divide it or something and, and uh, throw them in there and, and get them going. But uh, this is what they look like. And uh, that color, it's a, it was supposed to have been some kind of buff almond or something, but it looks yellow to me. So, But uh, I thought it was going to be a darker color. But anyway, uh, we're really looking forward to it. And uh, we'll... Uh, We'll be trying to to raise us some bees in them and see how well they do. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, uh, we're happy to answer all questions. So we uh, we here on Pretty Water Farm we like to grow vegetables and and raise cows and raise chickens. And, and fruit and berries we just try to do it all and uh, the people in the community they seem to uh, enjoy what we produce around here so uh, uh, we all uh, seem to uh, uh, benefit from it so that's all I've got for today. I just wanted to show you my latest project with the bees. And uh, if y'all have any uh, questions or anything, let me put that back there. If y'all have any questions or anything, uh, feel free to uh, leave a message or anything. I'd be happy to try to answer any questions you may have. Um, and uh, hopefully our bees, um, currently uh, we got uh, 12 beehives and I've got two top bars and uh, this last year had been a crazy year. We had uh, uh, late freezes and just I had I started out with three hives uh, this last spring and we had a crazy season, uh, late freezes, had a couple of them and uh, so just when uh, the bees was really getting going, uh, all their food source was, was wiped out. And uh, so uh, we didn't get any honey this year. But I also, I was wanting to multiply my swarms, I mean my hives. So uh, I uh, really kind of watered them down because during the summer I was uh, splitting them up and, and we was catching swarms and I have uh, six uh, bee traps uh, that I hang out around and and we was catching mostly from our hive. I think they were probably all from my hive. I, I think I had, uh, we have Russian bees, so I think we had uh, uh, several uh, swarms going out of uh, the same hive. And so uh, uh, we caught three hives within a, a couple of days. So. Uh, and I'm sure it was all from the same hive. And uh, so it, we really multiplied. And uh, so, but I lost a few, but we've ended up with 12 when it was all said and done. And uh, I think I've got probably mm, six of them that's pretty strong and uh, uh, three or four that's medium and then a couple of, couple of weak ones. So uh, we'll see how it works. And hopefully this next year, uh, next this this coming season uh, the weather will uh, cooperate and uh, we'll have a uh, a lot better year with, uh, uh, with the bee harvest and uh, honey harvest and uh, that's what uh, this year I'm not looking to multiply my hives like I did last year so so this year I'm going to focus on uh, preventing swarms and uh, uh, and honey production so We'll see how that works out. I've, I've been uh, 
uh, reading material and studying up on it and everything and trying to prevent swarms. So I will do my best to prevent the swarms uh, like I had last year. And uh, uh, so we'll see and uh, hopefully we'll have a good season and we'll have lots of good honey for the community and, and for our use and family. And uh, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure with the video and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.